Now let's talk about the identity matrix and how to create an identity matrix in NumPy. So as you can see, this is a three by three identity matrix, but maybe you ask what is an identity matrix? Basically an identity matrix is a matrix that the diagonal values are one and the other values are zero. So this is the meaning of identity matrix. And remember that usually in mathematics, the identity matrix is denoted by I means identity matrix. So here, as you can see, we have imported NumPy as NP. Then I simply type NP.I. And I think they use this specific name for generating the identity matrix because it is pronounced the same way as capital I, which the identity matrix is usually denoted by I in mathematics, it means identity matrix. And remember that a lot of programming languages use this name as well. So that's it, we use this function in order to create an identity matrix in NumPy. And now in order to generate a three by three identity matrix, we should pass a three and three. And remember that you shouldn't pass that in a tuple. So if you pass that in a tuple, you will get error. So you can see you get error. Why? Because in this specific function, you shouldn't pass these values in a tuple. You should pass them separately. And as a matter of fact, the syntax of this specific function is similar to MATLAB software. So you should pass that in this way. So remember that in this case, you shouldn't pass that in a tuple. You should pass them separately. So we want to generate a three by three matrix which, which is an identity matrix. So I store the result in a variable, let's say called X. And now if I print the X variable and if I run a code, you can see now we have a three by three identity matrix. And again, I can pass the D type arguments. And for example, I can pass integer in order to make all the values integer. And also I can pass different values. For example, maybe I want to generate a two by two identity matrix, which you can see here is the output. But now let's talk about a question. Maybe you ask what would happen, for example, if we pass, for example, instead of a three by three matrix, we pass, for example, a three by four matrix. So now if I run a code, you can see that this is a three by three matrix. This is a three by three matrix, which is an identity matrix, but you have specified that you want four columns. So those columns that are extra, are considered as zero. So for example, if you pass, for example, four and three, and if I run a code, you can see this part that I'm showing on the screen is an identity matrix, a three by three identity matrix. But because you have specified that you want four rows, the fourth row is considered as zero. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.